Hey everyone, it's Kiralee here. So last night I finished reading what's available on Manga Fox uh, of Black Butler. And now anyone who knows me knows that Black, Black Butler is one of my all-time favourite manga animes. Um, Lizzie was one of my very first cosplays so it holds a very special place in my heart and not to mention that the artwork is absolutely gorgeous. Funny thing though is that up until recently I'd only watched the anime, I hadn't actually read the manga yet um, which is surprising really because I had heard that the manga was a lot better than the anime and I guess I just didn't have the time or I didn't believe it, I don't know, I was lost in my fantasy world uh, but I found some time and I read it and oh my lord my head so today I would really like to have a quick discussion about the differences between the anime and the manga and what I think worked well in each of those and maybe what didn't but before we get into it I guess it goes without saying spoilers the main difference for me between the manga and the anime is that the manga just makes more sense if you watch the anime you may very well find yourself asking one or all of the following questions. Hey, isn't he dead? Why is Sebastian still serving Ciel if Ciel's a demon? Is Ciel a demon? Isn't Queen Victoria the one who's responsible for Ciel's parents' death? Why is Ciel still serving her and, like, being so loyal about it? Heads up, you ask none of these questions in the manga. One major, major, major difference between the anime and the manga is that pretty much the second half of the first season of the anime and the entire second season don't exist in the manga. You remove that and you suddenly realise how much more sense it makes. I am a little bit sorry that Angela, Ash, the puppet master, they're not in the manga. But then again, I'm not too sad that Trancy isn't. I hated him. But, overall, it works. So, a few other good things that I thought about the manga, and I really hope they bring it into the anime. Number one, the Midfords. The Midfords feature so much more in the manga than the anime. In fact, in the anime, you've only met Lizzie. You haven't met her kick-ass mum, her very protective older brother and her father which is just Lizzie in an older male form um, they're awesome and they're all fantastic swordsmen Lizzie is a kick-ass swordswoman I love Lizzie and I love her more in the manga because number one more outfits number two she's not so much of a ditz number three she's still youthful and loving and just wants to make Ciel happy Number four, she knows how to wield a sword like no one else. She is one of the best swords people in the land. It's amazing. Not to mention, she saves Yael's life. It's awesome. It's like when you learn that Mei Rin is actually an assassin, but better. Number two, really cool thing, the Phantom Hives. This is mostly directed at Vincent Phantom Hive, who's Ciel's father, who features a fair bit more in the manga than in the anime. There are stories that do focus on him being a teenager, as a young adult, and as a young father um, before everything that is happened. They actually did a voting and he was he was voted like the fifth most popular character uh, and he features not heaps but enough! So I think that we'll actually be seeing more of him which is really cool because he actually is a pretty interesting character and there's some interesting theories about the fact that Sebastian looks a lot like him. And number three, The Undertaker. Now I'm not going to give it away just in case you have not read the manga yet because it's awesome. The Undertaker. Ha! Huh. <laughs> Mine. Blown. so much more than what is in the anime <laughs> so much more and i think that if they do the next couple story arcs that will actually come out and you will see this other side to the undertaker and i really really hope that happens and number four the reapers now we all know grell um 
and a few of the other ones, they feature quite prominently in the manga. And one thing that is really cool is the fact that they're actually put into these roles as being reapers because they're people who committed suicide and it's their punishment or atonement that they have to reap souls so they see enough of death to really understand what they did to themselves. And that was really, I, I read that and I was like, oh, that's cool. So with all of that being said, I would like to reiterate that I still love Black Butler. I love the anime, I love the manga, I love the artwork. The characters are so rich and diverse and each one has this surprise kick to them. Um, I love it. Do you love it? Tell me in the comments below. What do you like, dislike, love, hate about the anime or the manga or both? Um, I'd love to hear your thoughts and please discuss below. Let's yarn. <laughs> Alright, see you later guys. Bye!